So with this representation, we need to do some operation, right? For example, we need to do binary addition. Let's do an example of binary addition. Let's say I have this one, 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 zero, one. So this is a binary, unsigned binary, okay? And this is 61 in base 10. And I would like to add 23 in base 10, but in binary, I will have one, 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 zero, one, zero. So this is two. 23 and let's do a binary addition so in the binary addition so i add one and one which is two but in the binary i will say this is zero and i have a carry of one okay so now i add one zero and one the total is zero but i have a carry here so if i add one plus one plus one the result is three but i write one here and i have a carry here one one i have a zero here and i have a carry here one plus one plus one i have a one here and i have another carry here one plus one plus zero this is zero and i have a carry here so what is this number if i look at the weight so this is a weight of four so this is a weight of 16 this is a weight of 64 so the number is 64 plus 16 plus 4 so this is 84 in decimal right so if you compare it if you add the numbers in decimal you will get 84 in decimal as well so let's do a binary subtraction example so let's say i have 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 so if you look at this this is 77 in decimal and i have 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 so this is binary 23 Oh no, decimal 23. So, and I am trying to do a subtraction, right? So 1 minus 1, I will get 0 here. 0 minus 1, so I need to borrow 1 from this position. So I will get 2 here. 2 minus 1, I will get 1 here. So now I got 0 here. 0 minus 1, I need to again borrow from here. So I will get 2 here and this will go. So I will get 1 here. So this was 0, 0 minus 0. It is 0. So here in this position, I I need to get a borrow so this is zero so i got two here then i got one here i got two here two minus one which is one and another one here and i will got zero here so now if i find the decimal equivalent so the weight here is two four sixteen thirty two so this is fifty four in decimal so if you do this this subtraction in decimal you can also see this is fifty four so similarly you can do binary multiplication so let's do a binary multiplication one zero one 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 and let's multiply it with zero one so this is 23 in decimal and this is 10 in decimal so if you multiply them we should get 230 in base 10 let's do the multiplication so if i multiply it with zero i will get all zero then if i multiply it with by one i will get one 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 zero one if you multiply it with zero you will get zeros and then if you multiply it one 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 zero one and with zero you will be getting all zeros so if you add all of them zero one one zero zero one 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 so now this weight is two four thirty two sixty four one twenty eight so this number will be two hundred thirty in base ten okay so let's now do base conversion so let's say how I can convert a decimal to binary. So the long way of doing this, so we will first do the long way. Let's say I have 13 base 10 and I need to find out what is the representation in binary. So for this, we will write the number and uh, this is quotient, remainder and we have coefficient fields so the number is 13 and we start dividing it by 2 so our quotient is 6 our remainder is 1 okay so this is our coefficient let's say we will say this is our first bit a0 and it is 1 so now we take this quotient divided by 2 so now I have 3 here 0 here and my next bit is 0 so I take 3 divided by 2 now my quotient is 1 the remainder is 1 and my second bit is 1 and then I take this 1 divided by 2 now my quotient is 0 so this means I can stop the remainder is 1 
so my a3 is 1 so if you get this numbers then uh, it will have a3 a2 a1 a0 so it will be 1 1 0 1 so this is 13 right in in binary so also let's look at an example to convert a decimal fraction to binary so given 0 0.625 in base 10 so what is the representation in binary so in this case what we do we took take this number 0 0.625 and we multiply it by 2 and then we will get an integer part which is in this case 1 a fractional part 1 point this is 1.25 and now my coefficient will be this integer will be my coefficient and it will be bit position at minus 1 which is 1 then I take this fractional part 0 0.25 and multiply it by 2 now the integer part is 0 fractional part is 0 0.5 and now my bit position at minus 2 is 0 so I take this a 0.5 multiplied by 2 the integer is 1 the fractional part is 0 so my bit at position minus 3 is 1 so since I got 0 here I can stop so the number 0 0.625 in base 10 is equal to 0 0.101 so this is a minus 1 this is a minus 3 a minus 2 right so this is the representation in the binary let's do some decimal to octal conversion so we will be using the same method given this 175 in base 10 and then what is the representation in octal so we take this 175 and divide it by 8 so so first we got 21 so this is the quotient so the remainder there is 7 my coefficient therefore a0 is 7 so i take this 21 divided by 8 and quotient is 2 remainder is 5 my a1 is 5 so i take this 2 divided by 8 my quotient is 0 remainder is 2 now my a2 is 2 so 175 in base 10 is equal to 257 in base 8 let's do some fractional conversion to octal let's say i am giving you this number 0 0.3125 in base 10 and i would like to get the octal number so again what we will be doing we will take this fractional number multiply it by 8 we have the integer part is 2 fractional part is um, 0.5 and my coefficient a minus 1 in this case is 2 so I got this fractional number 0 0.5 multiplied by 8 the integer is 4 the fractional point is 0 so the number in bit position minus 2 is 4 so since I got 0 here I can stop so 0 0.3125 in base 10 is equal to 0 0.24 in octal number so let's do one more example with the binary to octal conversion in this case so one zero one one zero point zero one so this is given in base two and then let's find the representation in uh, in octal so what we do in this case so we group bits in three because we are converting from binary to octal so we need to group three bits so 110 it is six here so i have two bits remaining but i can add one more adding zero here it will not change my number so i will have two six here for the fractional part i can again adding a zero here does not modify my number it's the same still same but then i have Two here so the representation in octal is 26.2 similarly we can do an example with the binary to hexadecimal conversion given this number 10110 the same number 01 so this is in given in binary and then we are trying to find what is the hexadecimal representation so now I need to group them four bits at a time so this is six now I need another group of four so I can put three zeros here so this is one so I can add two zeros here this is two 
so the representation in hex is one six point uh, actually this is not two but this is four point four